Okay, this is the third time I'm trying to record this. Okay, here's my scarf, here's my fancy dress, here's my fancy shoes, la la la. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this before it goes out again because I seriously, okay. I got there too early, I got to meet the priest, uh, my priest, and then he introduced me to another priest that was very sweet to me. And then um, I went upstairs to the balcony and I when I looked down there was like baby, baby's breath like lining the aisle and that was really nice. And um, <laughs> everyone was dressed really casually. I was like the only one covered. <laughs> like even all my fellow always head covered ladies were like not covered and they had like bare arms and shorter skirts and my skirt goes all the way to my ankles. So I was like totally over covered and dressed. <laughs> what do I know? So, okay, they all proceeded up in, you know, like succession. And there were like three different little flower girls. They were so cute, little pink dresses. And, um, when the bride walked up, she walked up with her dad, but only to a certain point, and then he, she, he put back her veil, kissed her, and then she went up. So, there were a couple things that I kind of remember. There was a wonderful chanter that we have. I was chanting in Arabic, of course, and that was amazing. Um, then we sang, and then he sang, and we just kept going back and forth with that. There were about half a dozen priests up there, too, so it was pretty jam-packed, like about ten people, because it was the bride and groom, and then their best people, right? Their bridesmaid and their best man, and then, like like I said, half a dozen priests, so that's like ten people up there. It was pretty busy. So, let's see. Um, I watched... Let's see, what was I trying to remember? Well, they kissed the gospel. There were prayers for that. Um, oh, then I think they had said the blessing over the wine, which looked exactly like the same way you hold the cottage cup when you do it for the Jewish variety. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Okay, then, 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 what did they do? Um, I think, I think after, well, it was quite a good time, but they had all joined hands, and actually they had gone counterclockwise three times around. And then, and then, and then, what happened? Oh wait, did I forget the crowns? Oh no, the crowns were after that, okay. Anyway, he took the crowns. Well, he took the crown and he put on one, and then he put it on the other, and then he went back and forth, and then it was like three times, and then he finally put it on him. And then he got on another one, and he kind of went back and forth with them, and then finally put it on her. And then they were saying blessings, and he was lifting them up, and kind of like switching them back and forth, and then there was a time where he was hovering them both, and that reminded me of the hobo, so I don't know if that's like that at all, but it did remind me of that. Um, and then the, the bishop told the story of the wedding, and one little detail caught my ear because I had never really heard that this or this part of it or something. It was from John, and it, it had to do with the water that had been collected that he had turned into wine. Um, had was actually being collected for the mikvah, and so I have some questions about that. Anyways, so after that one, they had kissed the cross, and then I thought this was really interesting because you know how like when somebody wants to figure out a problem, they'll say, why don't you put your heads together? So that's exactly what they did. He had put their two heads together, and then he was making a blessing of the cross. And then, and then, and then, oh my gosh, I can't remember. Oh. Well, somewhere in there they smooched. Um, but you know, more they hugged. That was very sweet. And, um... Then all of a sudden there was this time where there was everybody was hooping and hollering like really loud, and we were singing so much at that time. They were throwing down petals of flowers for them, and it was just over way too soon. <laughs> it was very beautiful, and um, yeah, that place was thick with lots of people, but some that yeah, I'll talk about that later sometime maybe. Okay, well, I guess that's everything. The wedding was gorgeous. <laughs> I got chills a lot of times because it was amazing. All right, so it's been a good day. Probably got about three more videos inside my head I gotta do before I go to sleep tonight. Sunbreak, huh? <laughs> Peace.